just what's your initial message to the group and, and how do they respond after that? Oh, we f feel enormous disappointment. Um, you know, we come to the game to celebrate together. We want to celebrate uh, as a team. We want to celebrate with our with our supporter base, and uh, um, so it hurts a lot. I don't know what they're doing. I don't think the players know what they're doing. It's nothing against them. I just don't think they know what they're doing. Everyone knows how Melbourne plays. They know how they play. Everyone knows how Collingwood plays. Carlton go out and go, hey, let's chick, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's chick a big bomb there and a little floater there, have a set shot from 30 out, snap it on the full. Woo! Hey, I can't wait to go watch them this weekend. It's going to be so much fun. Boop. Three goals kicked. And for the seventh week in a row, the Blues find themselves in arrears at quarter time. Jared kicked them all. Yep. 18-18 for the season. Mackay, that's through. Walsh, this time he is allowed to take the advantage. Tries to storm out of the middle. And it's aggressive line for Kurno. Oh, they're going to be hard to defend if they can get that sort of service out of the middle. He suddenly, Carlton getting some connection out of the middle. For a fifth goal. And the second turn, the Blues are vibrant and loving it. Three goals, Patrick Cripps. We're right behind him. And so are all the Carlton fans as their captain makes it an afternoon to absolutely remember. If you're a Carlton fan. I don't think I'm going to be able to handle all of the Carlton supporters after this game telling me that they're back on track for the flag. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sick of them already. We beat the Suns. We're 14th. We're 14th on the ladder. I mean, that win just makes me forget about everything that's happened. Butler. Wingard is a silent sounds. But the dream is still alive for the Blues. The simplicity in the performance. It was really the pressure around the ball and ability to be able to get after him was, um, you know, was really pleasing. Obviously, we we're really strong around contests for most of the day, and um, we we're able to play a little bit more of the game in our half. It's a Sunday game. It's the graveyard shift up at Optus Stadium, the last game of round 17, and there's all of a sudden a little bit in this. Frederick finishes with a goal to Fremantle. But the day has belonged to Carlton. They've put a big dent in Fremantle's finals hopes. They take a giant leap towards September. But it's pretty clear the Blues are back. Against the Suns as Oya has his kick half smothered. But believe the hype. And if you don't believe the hype, believe the numbers. 13 wins in a row. Carlton fan, it's four in a row this season. Has been turned on a 10. It's a Carlton charge towards September, most unexpectedly. Spins around for an all-time high of 10. He's in blue heavens. Sung his praise a few times. Goes to the goal square. We knew he had Sheed free on the buzzer. The throw, Just in but it's all about the Blues. They're in the eight tonight. Hard against the fence railing. He's kicked goals to win games for Collingwood in this situation. Jamie Elliott, can he be the hero again? <laughs> you can't believe this game. It is ridiculous what's happening. The 200 gamer clears the zone. And the siren sounds. In a heavyweight stouch, an epic.
job done around the corner at ground level like he does. Maybe the man in the box there, the Fevolution. Go out there. Hey, let's he loves a bit of ground meat time and loose. Don't worry about it. So the live ladder there, you can see the blue 